Belle Hill Tanfergan, Jury's Village, the winnings will be used to furnish the school. For other communities, the prize money is used to purchase medicine for the sick or food for their families. I have four families. Two are here, and the other two stay with the herd. I have four wives and 15 children. They don't all live here. Part of my women live here and are settled here, and the other part live with the animals and remain nomadic. All Wadabi pearls are cattle breeders. They begin at a very young age, taking the herd to better pastures, directing them to drinking water. Gabi, one of the jockeys, spends all his time after his morning training taking care of the community herd. With a lot of hard work over the centuries, these people have developed their own breed of cattle, distinguishable by its long horns, and called Bororo cattle. Not long ago, they migrated over vast territories throughout Niger with their herds. Today, because of the scarcity of water and increasing desert land, the Wadabi can no longer keep up their nomadic traditions and are forced to become geographically stable. The end of the rainy season comes in September, and all is well for the Wadabi pearls. There is grass and water. But every year at the end of November, the dry season begins and lasts until August. The ponds quickly dry out, and the herds slowly disappear. Life is hard in the bush the rest of the year. Sometimes, when there's no more water, swarms containing millions of crickets attack all vegetation and leave famine and desolation everywhere. To improve his chances of winning, Jury must select some cows to trade against two good racing camels that are faster than his. The new camels have been reserved for some time now, and today he will go make the trade. Jury and his jockeys travel about 10 miles with the cows to the little town of Chin Tabaraden, where cattle breeders come to sell their livestock. Going to Chintabaraden is always fun, except for the Bororo cows. <laughs> While he's at the market, Jury has an announcement made to advertise his race. I've been trying to buy them from him for two years. We couldn't come to terms because they are very good camels who win races. It's not easy. There aren't many of them. This year he's finally agreed. They're in good health and all is well. 
We want to win with them. This is good. This is very good. They're a good size. This is just the right type of camel for the races. I exchanged four cows and some money for him. A good camel that wins races is expensive. Gabi and Dadi will ride them. Now that we've made the trade, they'll take them home and I'll take the bush taxi back. On the way home, Gibi and Daddy can't resist the urge to put their new mounts to the test. In spite of this rudimentary transport, Jury returns to Tanfergan very happy about the trade he's made. He feels it was a good deal. The jockeys immediately start their camels on an athletic diet based on acacia tree leaves. A camel can go without drinking from five days to two months. But to prepare for this race, they go completely without water to keep them as light as possible. Until the end of the event, the beasts will live on their body's reserves. Before returning to see Jury in the village, Gabi and Dadi readjust their racing equipment to the measurements of Adignes and Zitun, the new camels.